this is Arkansas Tinters, and as you can tell, I got a new intro video. I'm sorry I didn't do a video for a while. Um, it's just been hard this week because I've been thrifting and sourcing and eBaying. It's just been a little hectic. I've finally been able to wind down and be able to make this video for you guys. It's more of an item to look for video. I won't be posting some of these up, but this is more specifically for a specific specific item. Sorry, I'm a little tongue-tied. I'm a little tired. Um, I know what you're thinking. Why am I sitting here for a few seconds just doing... Anyway, but the this item video is related to razors. This is including electric razors and non-electric razors. Everybody knows that electric razors sell. Oh, and probably not everybody, but most people know that some electric razors sell, some don't, like most items. Um, but what people may not know is that vintage electric razors sell. Some, not even worth trying to pick up. I'm not going to lie. But if you get some of the good brands like Remington or uh, Norelco even, a lot of Norelcos ain't worth money depending on the era they came out in, but some of them are worth good money. Um, but also both men's and women's re electric razors do sell. I have sold both men's and women's electric razors for 20 plus dollars. Normally you can pick these up for like one, two bucks. Look up the model number and see about it first. But most of them are a good gamble if you don't know what to look for. Um, even newer ones that are used do seem to sell. Like, uh, I haven't listed this one yet. But I got this a while back for a couple bucks. Um, this is a newer model. Uh, Phillips Numerico Arcitec. This ain't worth a ton because it is the older model, but these seem to be worth about twenty plus dollars uh, for the razor itself. And it was just a big old pack. So I got the razor, charger, base, and whatever this thing is. I'm assuming carrying case. Yeah, it looks like the carrying case um, for this as well as a used. Uh, Noroko set of uh, blades. Uh, I do say used because even though it's in the plastic, there's obvious signs of use. But it's a good used set that I got for a couple of bucks. Um, again, this will probably sell for about twenty plus dollars. Uh, also, what other people may not know about is uh, disposable razor blades. And I know a lot of people are thinking, everybody knows about those. You know, the ones that are in the store for like $30, $40. If you, no, I'm talking about the vintage ones. Some not worth so much. Uh, you know, $10 plus. Dollars. But if you get a bunch of them for like $0.25, $0.50 cents a piece, you can make some good money. Uh, I've sold some uh, old replacement blades for an old razor. I forgot the name of it. It's been a little bit because I haven't found any more of them. And I think I paid 50 cents a package and I bought like 12, 13 of them. So say six bucks invested, but each one pack of razor sold for $10 free shipping. And a lot of people bought two, three, four at a time and I didn't have them that long. And I was making a $30, $40 sale off of a $1.50. That is usually pretty good money, but if you're out and about and you're looking for items to thrift and you don't know or you're just starting, always look into the razors. Uh, I'm not saying all of them are worth money, so do a little quickly Google eBay search on your phone or on your tablet or however you thrift. I use my phone because it is awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, I say look into the razors. Don't be grossed out about some of them. If they're a little dirty, you can clean them up. There's easy ways to do that. But just look up the models and you'll probably be surprised. Some of these are actually worth money. But I say if you're really curious and really want to look into it, stick to Remington and Norelco if you're just starting into these. If not, and you want to branch out into them, look up almost any others you find. I found some at yard sales for a quarter and I've sold for fifteen twenty dollars easy and I know what some people are thinking a fifteen dollar sell isn't that great it isn't unless you invest a little bit of money in it and I've told you in this another video if you get something under a dollar and can sell it for ten or more grab it 
it's a win-win. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like doing the small sales, but I don't mind them, especially if you're just a new seller trying to build up your reputation and getting a decent amount of sales with a decent amount of profit for a decent amount of time. Um, but if you're a really big seller that has employees and stuff, yeah, $10 item ain't going to be worth all that much to you because by that time you got a few thousand, hundred thousand reviews and you don't need it. But for someone who's just starting out, the $10, $15 items are bank, especially if you spend like 10 cents, a quarter, 50 cents, and turn it into $10, $15. I don't know anybody who would complain about that. Well, I know a couple people, but they're kind of rich. But um, like I was saying, look into the razors and look into the razor blade disposables. That If you do come across new in package, look them up because you will never be, know and you'll probably be mightily surprised at some of these. So please, everybody, this is Arkansas Thrifters. Uh, like, subscribe, and tell me what you think of the new intro because I am very curious. So please, everybody, have a great day, and I am out of here.